Hey guys, it's just about New Year's Eve here. Um, I want to show you this really cool thing that my local Home Depot has. This is just your regular Rust Oleum spray paint, but it's the turbo version. So when I first picked these up, I painted a boat trailer with it that I didn't put on the channel a couple months ago. I thought it just had twice as much paint. And uh, there have been times that I was like, oh, it'd be nice to have more paint, not to switch out cans um, and more painting. But they actually have this completely unique spray nozzle that looks like a fan and um, it says it's four times faster for large projects so I bought something to see how it did on my boat trailer I really like it um, and not that this trailer is completely ready for paint but I wanted to show you guys how it works um, I picked up a couple cans of it um, you know I could spend a whole bunch of time like brushing this but it, it's an old trailer it finishes doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like it matters what you do in an old trailer. Like after a couple of years, they always need to repaint it. And um, I've taken to pretty much just painting stuff with this for still in there. So here's a, here's how it works. I mean, that's crazy. Like one shot, you're getting like a foot of paint. Um, and uh, the bad part about it is you got to really cover everything up for overspray, or it'll get everywhere. You got to mask everything off because it has so much paint coming out at once. Like, you go through this much paint in the same amount of time it takes to use a regular spray paint can. But. So, to paint that much area with a regular spray paint can would take you a couple minutes. Just with a regular can, that's if you held it far away so you won't get that much paint on it. And with this, uh, I'll keep going. Let me move the camera down just a hair. So, I mean, with this, you can just, you can cover so much, so fast. I don't want to get too close into this fender. Uh, there's still a couple of spots I want to touch up and weld. But I'm just showing you, I mean, we covered the sides of this trailer with paint. And what was that like? 30 seconds. So this thing's awesome. It's terrible for detail stuff. So you got a mask off. See, I got a little bit on the tire there. Um, and you can see, maybe you can't see. Let me show you. Um, just painting this, even though I wasn't even close to it, I got overspray all the way down here on the frame, which is fine because that's all going to get painted. But if you're painting a car or something, you're going to have to get some of the wheels and everything else because it goes everywhere. The other thing this is good for is you have like expanded sheet like this that you want to cover with a regular spray paint can because it doesn't cover all that. You have to kind of like, like it's a pain in the butt. I've done it. To paint this by hand is a pain with a brush. But this, because it covers so big, like yeah, you're still wasting some paint. But it covers that expanded steel so quick. It looks nice. And I think it looks nice. So there's that entire side of that trailer painted black. And like, no, it's it's not the thickest coat of paint that you've ever seen. And um, it may need retouched, but I mean, just for 30 seconds of effort to freshen up an old piece of equipment or something, this stuff is great. I really like this. Um, I can't remember how much these cans are. I want to say they're like $9 each. Uh, and a regular can is uh, four four bucks four and a half bucks i think at home depot this is twice as much as a regular can it holds 24 ounces which is twice as much paint as a regular can but it puts it on it says four times faster and i would say that's for big services like that it's pretty accurate so i'm still going to pick up some regular spray paint cans to do all the detail stuff because with this you're going to end up with a ton of drips because it just sprays out so much paint um like here i'll try and spray like a little detail spot in here there, you can see. Here, let me take you off the stand. All right, so just squirting that real quick. And this is terrible and all needs cleaned up. You can see how it's all pooling and running down the fender. Right here you get runs. So you have to move really quick. You can't stop and do any details with it or it pulls up and runs like that. This trailer, I don't care about runs and stuff in the paint because like I said, dumb trailers, the paint on them is not gonna stick anyway, just utility trailers in general. So, if you need to paint something really fast, uh, get yourself some of this Rust-Oleum Turbo. 
All right, guys, it's almost New Year's uh, 2020. It's been a terrible year for most of us. I know everybody's been sitting around by themselves, isolated on YouTube and Netflix and everything else, and I have too. Um, I thank you guys so much for all of your likes and your views and your subscribers. I'm up to 100 subscribers now, which is crazy. Uh, a friend of mine joked that if I had boobs, it'd be uh, 100,000. But, um, you know, I, I like this kind of tech. I like seeing people do stuff themselves and think of something themselves and not just sharing something they saw on Pinterest. Um, I really try and stay away from all that stuff just because I like to think for myself and find my own solutions to stuff. Um, I do follow a lot of my subscribers videos I subscribe to. I try and check out what you guys are doing. Um, YouTube is just full of amazing creators and not just their content but the things that you're making and you're fabricating at home. So if nothing else, 2020 has been a great opportunity for us to all expand on our home uh, DIY projects, our home workshops, to build something amazing. So now I have a dump trailer that I'm just about finished with and you'll see the final videos of that being released in the next couple weeks. I'm working on some new video editing software to work with the new cameras I got. But to buy a dump trailer like this, a 7,000 pound one from Brymar, you'd be looking at, you know, uh, 4,000 bucks, give or take. So I built this one for about a little more than a tenth of that, which is crazy. And now I have something nice that I can use for projects. And if I ever decide to sell it, you know, it's worth way more than what I paid for it. So maybe I can get something better um, down the road if I want. But for now, I built this. I know it's super strong. I've got a few things to finish up on it. But again, thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, it means so much to me to have people like and comment on my videos. Um, it just helps other people connected because of the way this year has been. So happy New Year's, everybody. Look for better content in 2021 my new cameras, my drone. I've got some really cool stuff planned. So thanks guys. Happy New Year's. Stay safe.